Hello Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. We are going to do a reading for the month of March. The reason why I'm doing this is because we have six planets shifting signs in March. We have Saturn on the 7th. We have Pluto on the 23rd. Those are huge, huge, huge shifts. We've got Venus. We've got uh, Mercury changing signs. The sun's changing signs. I mean, we've got so many planetary shifts happening that, you know, it's we definitely want to keep an eye on March to see where our themes are changing and take note in that. So take time to breathe out now because come March, everything is going to start shifting for you in your favor. We're kind of sitting in this in-between world right now because we're waiting on all the planets to shift. We can feel that there's a huge change coming in, but not quite sure what it is. So let's find out. Spirit, please show me the month of March for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy. We've got nothing is yet set in stone. Yep. Um, Spirit, please show me. And what else do we got? The answers that you need are coming. So that's talking about the in-between world and the energy is gaining momentum. We're coming up on March quicker than we can even, like, it's almost like the, the new year started, but yet we're already going into March. I mean, it's freaking crazy. That's because we have all planets direct until April. The end of April, we have another Mercury retrograde. So the answers that you need are coming when it comes to whether that's business, I feel like for a lot of you, where you're going in the next month, I feel like all of everything is going to change for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. You need to stay very, very grounded. Keep plugging away at what you're doing, whatever it is that really feeds your heart and soul, because as you do, things are going to just take off quick. And as soon as you get the answers, you're going to be able to move forward. It's not saying that, you know, you'll be able to do it next month, but you'll get all the answers you need next month. And, but nothing is yet set in stone. You kind of need to be like the Virgo Capricorn in Taurus. Okay. You need to be like the Virgo, be very mutable. That's what this card is talking about. Mutable energy. Okay. So it's really important that we can go with the flow of what is happening as things are really getting going. So let's find out what your major arcana for the month of March. It is the strength card. You're going to need to have, like, pull out all that inner strength and have the courage to put yourself out there and be seen, okay? Maybe you have a message that other people need to hear. Maybe you're the one that's giving the messages to someone else. So this is about pulling in on that inner, you know, that inner strength, that inner courage, and really doing things that are, you know, outside of your comfort zone as well. You've had enough time to relax. You've had enough time to breathe. You've had enough time to sit back and really analyze where things are going to go. And this is your takeoff. I definitely feel like it's a takeoff. Spirit, please show me Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus for the month of March. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here. We've got the Two of Wands. We've got the Nine of Wands. That one wanted to come out. Let's keep going. Okay, we've got the Three of Cups underneath the Queen of Pentacles. So some type of celebration, having the world in the palm of your hand. Wow, we've got the King of Cups here. Some of you guys are going to be finding love. Uh, for others of you, you're just mastering your craft, doing what you love. Holy crap, I've got all these cards falling all over the place. Sorry about that. We've got King of Cups. And, okay, hold on. Wow. All right. We've got the eight of pentacles and we've got the five of wands. Let's keep going. And wow, we've got the king of wands. So now we've got the king of wands and the king of cups here. All right. So maybe for some of you, you're going to have choices in love. I was just going to say that and the two of cups just came out. Bottom of the deck, ten of swords. It's over. The pain is over. It can't hurt you anymore. Everything you've gone through, the cycles are ending. No more stabbing people in the back. No more feeling like, you know, you're down in the dumps. This is where you pull in all that inner strength and you keep moving. The queen of pentacles is like, I have this pentacle and I want to share it. I want to invest it. What do I invest it in? And I definitely feel like she's really looking out upon the horizon. And like I said, she may have two people in love to choose from. She's been single for a really long time. So for those of you who have been single, just plugging away at your work, keeping your nose up to the grindstone, you could definitely find somebody that could come in. 
for you in love. So I'm getting this as love and business here. So for some of you, you could definitely find love at work. Okay. We've got the five of wands here. This is um for some of you, maybe it's on the job training that you're going to be doing. Maybe you're starting a new job. You're really excited about this. Uh, for others of you, the king of cups is the center of the reading. OK, and the king of cups is somebody who wears his heart on his sleeve. He's very uh, emotionally secure. He is some, he's a he's a go getter. And the reason why I say that is because he's got the king of wands underneath him. So if this is the same person, they could have fire and water in their chart. Um but I'm definitely getting that this person is going to go after what he wants. So you could be dealing with a masculine energy in the month of March. It can be a very feminine masculine um, or, you know, a, a feminine who ha is really tuned into her masculine because this is a general reading. Um, I do see collaborations when it comes to work and business as well. We've got that underneath the eight of pentacles. And if you've been plugging away nine of wands, protecting everything you've been working so hard, for. You keep going even when other people are telling you to stop. I do feel like there's going to be some type of a breakthrough. Uh, I want to see what other major arcana is coming up for the Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Spirit, please show me for Virgo. What is Virgo? Wow. Okay, Virgo, you got the Justice card and the Hierophant, okay? So this could be contracts that you are signing, soul contracts at that. You could be really stepping into your uh, spiritual practice. I feel like you're going to end up with some set of keys. It could be the key to a new office, key to a new home, the key that you need to move forward, maybe that communication that you've needed. Um, let's see, Taurus. See, Taurus, Spirit, please show me a major arcana for Taurus. Wow, we've got the chariot, Taurus. So for some of you Tauruses, this is you going on a vacation, you taking off, you being victorious in whatever it is that you're doing. This is victory and success for you Tauruses. Spirit, please show me Capricorn. Capricorn, you got the star, okay? All your hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. I feel like for Virgo, you guys have been dealing with some type of just karmic lesson after karmic lesson after karmic lesson. And I do feel like there's going to be commitments that come in for the Virgo. For um, Capricorn, all your hopes, wishes, dreams coming true. So keep your dreams. Make sure that your dreams are, uh, you're making big dreams right now, okay? I feel like Capricorn, you know, allowing yourself to also be vulnerable as well, um, especially during this time, is going to be very, very important for you guys. So let's see what advice we have coming in. I'm definitely getting uh, love and relationships here and business partnerships. This is what you guys have been waiting for. So we got an unfinished story. Maybe someone from the past does return um, or a job from the past. And there was some still some type of, type of um, karmic energy uh, that is coming in that you need to wrap up because we have another number 10 here. So we've got the 10 of swords, maybe something from the past that wants to come in that you um, need to be doing. Okay. All in all, I hear a cat yelling. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Um, all in all, I really like these messages. Let's see what the advice from spirit is. Oh, and another thing I just heard is quit telling yourself the same old story. Oh, it's never going to change. It's never going to bullshit. Um, it's never going to amount to anything. All the hard work that you're putting in is going to amount for something. So we got power and intention. There it is. Power and intention. Make sure that you are not allowing somebody else to have power over your intentions, okay? Not even in a love relationship. Then we've got clear, cancel, and release. So anything that is not uh, conducive to the lifestyle that you are trying to live, control, alt, delete. That's what I always say. This one says clear, cancel, and release, but I say control, alt, delete. And there it is. We have the word strength here again. So we've got strength here. And we've got strength here, tapping into that inner lion that we all have. I mean, she's really brave. It's almost like she's showing off right now. And I feel like right now, more than ever, you need to show off. You need to show off what your talents are. You need to show off what it is, you know, who you are. Putting yourself out there is going to be very important. Strength and guidance. You are being guided, and but try not to allow, again, Somebody else's, I feel like somebody else 
because I see three people here. Somebody else could be getting involved in what you're doing and trying to get you to do something else. And you're going to have to have the strength to not listen to what they're saying, but doing what your inner guidance is, is guiding you to do, so to speak. Okay. And that was kind of confusing even for me to say. Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Good luck in the month of March. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. Take care.